and you had about 16, you were always kicked out. Unless you had special needs. Ladies and gentlemen, they're telling people now that 35 is the new adult. 35 is the peak in physical and mental overall prowess. You then gain knowledge up to this level. But, 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 but by then, at 35, you are at your peak. Women and men, you are at your peak, 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 peak. But if they arrest your development... And most men I know, our crew is not like this because that's who gravitated towards this. I'm not bragging, it's just true. Most men at 35 act like they're 16. They still want to hang out mainly with men. They want to get the approval of men. They act like boys. They wear sports jerseys. They want to play. They want to party all day. They're not serious minded. And most of them at 35, what do they not have? They don't have children. You're supposed to have children by 16 in every culture biologically. If you're not having them by 16, there's something wrong with you. Oh, but see, there's college, the priesthood you've got to get into. And then by then, oh, you've got to make money because you're in debt. Oh, don't have time for kids. It's all They wrote books about the 20s, how they do this. Don't have time for kids. You're trying to get out of debt. Oh, you're 40. You're finally halfway out of debt. Oh, you want to have some fun now. Oh, you try to find a woman. Oh, she's barren. She's doing the same thing. By the time you figure out you want to live, by the time you hit 16 at 40, I'm giving you the big knowledge here, folks, at 40, on average, and they did this by design, you are now the equivalent of a 16-year-old. When I was 16, I didn't want to party anymore. I didn't want to play games anymore. I grew up. I'd already been in the fights, all the big rituals. I'd already had probably, a, I hate to brag, so I'm not bragging, it's actually shameful, probably 150 women or more. That's conservative. I'd had over 150 women. I'd already been in fights with full-grown men. I was already dating college girls by the time I was 15 years old. I was already a man at 16. At 21, I was a leader. At 21, I had a radio show, one of the biggest stations in town, and by 22, I had top ratings. By 23, I was syndicated. By 24, I had my son. At 24... I had a son. I had a beginnings of a media empire. I was reaching millions of people, and everybody couldn't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Jefferson was leading Virginia by 24. Thomas Jefferson had four college degrees by 22. Thomas Jefferson was designing architecture by 20, building and getting contracts by 22. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. Thomas Jefferson was the leader of the Illuminati by 34 worldwide. And I don't mean the modern devil worshiper Illuminati. That's the counterfeit of the real, quote, Illuminated. And they were Masonic. They weren't devil worshipers. They created the country. And I'm not Masonic. I'm giving you a historical fact. Now, I'm sorry. I said this is the secrets of Sandy Hook here. I don't want to finish up so folks get to their families. I've got one more quick video I want to do here live. But you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, very few people ever even get to 75, which is biblically how long a man's appointed to live. And notice it's still the average life expectancy today, despite our technology. In the Bible, 75. But access to all this info doesn't do anything if you don't have the experience and then the spiritual connection which creates the knowledge. I'm going to stop right there. And I'm not bragging about my success. It's normal. I was not arrested in my development. All the archetypes were unlocked at a very young age because of rites of passage that were still taking place when I was a young man that are no longer even available to most people. The rites of passage are all being removed. And yes, brutal, brutal fights was one of the rites of passage. Sex was a rite of passage. Having access to literature and art and culture and history and the occult and Christianity, all of it was a rite of passage. Other rituals I was part of were all rites of passage.
elders constantly explaining things to me was rites of passage. They're stealing the future. So am I bad questioning a government known for lying, a media known for lying, that lies against us in the wars that kill millions of kids, that are obsessed with abortion and cultures of death and all this evil? To question them? Absolutely, I'm right. Did I say nobody died, it's all bull? Yeah, they took a clip out of context. And, and where I was doing devil's advocate in a debate, I didn't say that's what I believe. I said I could see both sides. They hope you don't see the truth. They hope you don't research it. They hope you don't find out for yourself.